Hey everyone, Eddie Gray here with thepipenook.com, back in the West Parlor here at Gray Manor. So I posted a video a couple, probably a couple three days ago. Um, I'm recording this video um, sooner than that, but uh, first up, I'm smoking a Savinelli Series 3, 320. This is the 9mm version uh, that I've been trying to desperately keep in stock. Um, and as of the posting of this video, I will hopefully still have some of these in stock. I'm going to post them up today. Probably um, by the time this video hits, I should have some more. If not the 320s, then definitely some other shapes of the 9mm. So look for that. In it. Smoking some Cornell and Deal stovepipe, which I also have available on the store. So I just did a false light. Let's get this going, and then I'll I'll chat with you a bit about uh, the second thing that happened this week. All right, drinking some OMS coffee. Which is no joke, that is some legit great coffee. First time I've ever had it. So my last video, I talked about the Nashville Pipe Show. Which I had some video problems with it. Hopefully um, I won't have to re-record that. I can get it uploaded for you. But I mentioned that was one of three things that happened this, this past week that was a big week for me. So the second thing was that um, this past Monday, October 2nd, I started a new job. And uh, so I got through my first week at the new job. Uh, pipe Nook is still going uh, strong. I'm not. I'm not setting the Pipe Nook aside. Um, I've always kept a, a, a full-time job, so no worries there. But um, I had a job opportunity uh, that came my way. Almost fell completely. Just fell in my lap, and. Uh, uh, it was uh, definitely a smart move for me, um, but it's a, a very large corporation. You know, I've been working in a small mom and pop shop kind of a music store for the past couple of years, and this is me back in the corporate world. Uh, you know, back in the khakis and the button-up shirt and all that. It's IT work, which I haven't done for a living for a couple of years. So, you know, not only am I a little bit rusty on that kind of stuff, um, but I also have to learn all new systems, you know, all new everything for the new job. So... It's a, it's been a daunting week, and it's it's a very large, a very large company. Not gonna get uh, you know too into into that, um, but it's been uh, it's been quite the week of learning. So instead of making three videos like I probably initially intended to do, I'll just make this two videos. So let's talk about the third thing that happened this week. Uh, really four. Of course, there was the, the shooting at the concert. Um, and, you know, I, I, I don't have any frame of reference to that. I don't have any, I don't know anybody that was there, anybody that was affected. Uh, aside from Derek Tant's brother, you might want to watch uh, one of his videos in regards to that. He's, he's okay. But he was there, and uh, very scary. But the third thing that happened to me personally this week um, was that on my very first day of, of the new job, 
uh, in the afternoon, I hear Tom Petty died. You know, some, some people at work started talking about it. Oh, man, Tom Petty died. And uh, that just threw me for a loop. Um, and I'll get to that. So, I'm 42 years old. In 1989, uh, I had, you know, really gotten into music about five years previously. Probably when I was about nine or ten years old. I had liked, you know, pop music before that. You know, I'd, I was a big Michael Jackson fan. I listened to... Whatever's on the radio, you know, I mean, Ray Parker Jr. and, uh, you know, Prince and, and this, that, and the, I wouldn't call Prince pop music necessarily, but Madonna and all that, Phil Collins. But what really got me into music was the hair bands. And I, today, you know, to this day, I still listen to hair bands. I made a video, I think, of my top 25 albums of all time, and it was pretty hairband heavy. That was some time back. But, um, so from like 84, 85 to 89, it was all, you know, hard rock and, and metal all the time. Bands like Rat and Bon Jovi, Cinderella, Britney Fox, uh, Bad English... Uh, bon Jovi, did I say Rat, Dokken, all those bands. And then I got into things like Iron Maiden, Guns N' Roses, Overkill, Metallica, Megadeth. Well, 1989 came along, and here comes Tom Petty's Full Moon Fever. And it was, the singles were all over the radio. And, you know, I kind of had an identity crisis as a, as a, as a boy because it wasn't metal, it wasn't hard rock, but I really, really liked it. And uh, so I kind of had a hard time adjusting to that, but I finally came to the realization of, it doesn't matter, I like this guy's music, I'm going to listen to it, I'm not going to make any excuses about it, you know, I love Tom Petty. And I just ate up the Full Moon Fever album and then went back through all of his back catalog Absolutely fell in love with with everything he ever did, um, including the Traveling Wilburys. And, uh, you know, one of the most elated moments in my life, I can remember, I guess it was the summer of 91, uh, I, was, I had my very first full-time summer job uh, in between my sophomore and, and junior year of high school. And... Uh, I was working the parts counter in a warehouse, and uh, we had always had the radio on. And a song came on, and I immediately knew. I immediately knew it was Tom Petty, and it was a brand new Tom Petty song. It was "Learning to Fly" uh, from his upcoming album that I knew nothing about yet, called "Into the Great Wide Open." And I was literally jumping for joy at work. Uh, because not only was there a new Tom Petty song I'd never heard before, but we were getting a whole new Tom Petty album. And uh, literally one of the most elated moments of my life was, was right then. And, uh, you know, Into the Great Wide Open was another awesome album. Did not disappoint. Um, and, you know, I've really liked everything that he's made ever since then. Um, some more than others. But I really liked the Wildflowers album. I really liked the She's the One uh, album. The Mud Crutch albums. Um, Echo is a fantastic album. And his newer stuff, I, you know, I don't like quite as much as, as the older stuff. But, but still, you know, Highway Companion, Mojo, uh, Hypnotic Eye. Those, those are all good albums with, with uh, you know, they've got some good songs on them. But I've been a Tom Petty fan now for like 28 years. And so when I heard Tom Petty uh, died, 
it really took the wind out of my sails. And it's been a struggle this past week to stay focused on work. And, uh, I mean, the reason I picked up a guitar was because I saw a regular guy like Tom Petty playing guitar and singing. And, you know, the hair bands and all that, they're like crazy good as far as technical prowess and all that. Never thought I would pick up the guitar. Um, cause it was like, well, I don't, I don't think I could ever learn to play like that. That's a commitment. Um, of course the kind of music Tom Petty does is also a commitment, but it got me to thinking, Hey, you know, like I don't have to be a world class guitar player to play and have fun with music. Um, but anyway, you know, I've, I've had a rough week. It was, it wasn't just, you know, when Michael Jackson died, I, you know, I took that, I took that a little, a little tough, but not, not like this. Um, it was as if I had lost a friend that I had sang songs with for almost 30 years. Um, so it's tough, man. It's been really tough. Uh, I'm trying to get over being able to listen to his music um, and not just being sad all the time about it. So anyway, just wanted to share that with y'all. If, if you haven't dug into Tom Petty's music, if you like his singles, but you know, you're not familiar with the albums, I would advise you to go back and, and dig into those albums. Um, I'm not sure what to recommend first because to me, they're all fantastic. Um, but his first and second album, just Tom Petty and You're Gonna Get It, are great. Um, Damn the Torpedoes, his third album is great. Uh, uh, what is it, his fifth album? Um, Long, Long After Dark, I think is what it's called. It's really dark, like black and red album cover. That is a phenomenal album. That's one of my favorites. Uh, Full Moon Fever, Into the Great Wide Open, Wildflowers, Echo. These are all just killer albums. Um, so go back and, and dig into it and celebrate an artist that we lost, I feel, too soon. Um, and uh, it's going to take a while for me to get over. But anyway, I'm going to go back to the stovepipe. I'm going finish to off, finish off this bowl. Glad y'all got to see me today. And we'll chat with you later. Mm -hmm.